Guys, you made it to show me 10. We're gonna show you what's cracking today. We got a lot going on. We're polishing some rides. We got three black rides up front. I'll run you through them real quick. Show you what you, my guys are doing. Look, Redbeard's over here working on the C1. He's polishing it up. He doesn't like it when I call him Redbeard. I told him he has no idea why I call him Redbeard. He has no clue. You know, no big deal. He loves it though. Look at him. He loves it. He's smiling. <laughs> And this is what, a Tahoe Z71? Paint protection film, of course, on the front clip. You can't see it on there. That's the full hood, full bumper, full fenders, headlights, all this crazy stuff, all wrapped in paint protection right now. Super glossy, super fresh. Hunter almost tripped and killed himself right there. We didn't want that, no big deal. Hunter, get to work, man. I literally say that all day long, all day. This is fun. What are you doing, Hunter? Having a good time? He just gave me the high five signal. He gave me the secret high five. What's the high five signal? Oh, so right now they're weeding some of these. This is actually a kind of a weird project. Looks like a normal graphic. This is a blasting paper that they're gonna go put on some stainless steel. The guy's gonna sandblast this onto some stainless steel. It's gonna be printed on there forever. So it's just a little like masking job I got into for this local company, Artisan Fabrication. They had trouble getting them done. Dropped it on me. I said, I got you no problem. Knocking it out. We got this Corvette Stingray, pain protection. This guy keeps blasting his fender off. Like if I could show you this, like literally, I hope you're watching this too, because you already know it's going down. I don't know what he did, but he like folded the paint protection back like twice. He's like, I just washed it like normal. No, no, no. But I fixed it again, no problem. Right here, he blew this back to here. He's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just hit like a tidal wave. And like, no big deal. But we fixed it. It's ready to rock. And then Nick's wrapping a mu uh, Mustang, Camaro, Corvette, Challenger. That's it. Pink, right? Which pink is this? Bubblegum pink. Bubblegum pink. This girl came in, saw our YouTube playing up front. Said, ah, I didn't know you wrap cars. I said, yeah, she said, I want it for my birthday. I said, all right, let's do this. So she's getting her car pink for her birthday. You know what I mean? So that's fun. She's going to be hyped. She's super excited. Parents, I think they forgot. I don't know what happened. They called me up like, get us on the schedule right away. I'm excited. Their daughter must have came back and said, I gotta have it. Whatever happened, happened. That I'm, she said, I got a guy, show me tent, rocking it out. So this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be bright. This is gonna be like super bright. So that's fun. You know what else is fun? You wanna get Hunter to do that? Nick, can we use your stool for a minute? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to get, uh, see how long Hunter can stay on it with the leaf blower. Well, yeah, let's see what happens. Don't let him hit any of the cars. Will you guys come stand in front of the cars while we do this? Come on, Hunter. Let's see. Let's see if this works. We're gonna try to get him to spin around. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't bring in an extra fast one. No, it's no big deal. I'm like coming to work, driving in, checking my guy's story or whatever, post it up. And let me show you what I saw. Was it funny? Yes. Was I upset that everybody was on the clock having a good time? Kind of, but not really because it was super funny. But also, this is kind of like a remake version. How'd you guys do this? I walk in and Hunter is literally... <laughs> That's pretty good. Hold the other end up a little bit. <laughs> I tried to get you to go that way a little. You were doing great, dude. You did good. Does that make you dizzy? I feel like I'm having a stroke. You really? Try to walk straight. <laughs> Literally, they had like nine people do this. Everybody did it. I think we should all do it. Emily, you wanna go next? Come on. Ah, oh, it's too bad. Let's go see what's going on, see if they're goofing around or anything like that. You did great. Thanks, Hunter. That's the first time you did a good job today. <laughs> see what's going on. You got a bunch of people coming in, Emily. Hi, guys. Hey. What up? What's up? Dropping off some cars tent. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We're just keeping them packed. Look, full, no big deal. New wrap cars, fresh color going, that's gonna be displayed at SEMA. That's a new blue they released. Uh, Nick reached out to them. They're gonna pop that as a release in SEMA. So that if you don't know, that's a big car show coming up in Vegas. And when the sun hits it, it changes all kinds of colors. Check him out. Nick.rap. Does a lot of raps.com. At Show Me Tint. And other places, probably. Welcome to the tin shop, guys. They're working away. We've been down here playing with this blue tint. This is something wild. The, it's super hard. Uh, you know, if my guys are struggling with it, I guarantee you it's double tough. The customer wants this like really retro blue tint. He says it reminds him 
of how this car come out. It's like an old style stock car. He showed me a picture, sounded kind of eccentric, and he wanted blue tint. So I was like, can you pay for it? And he was like, absolutely. And this is my powder coating guy, Mitch, over at MC Customs. Got his wife a new baby mama ride, and they're getting pimped out. First time they did a uh, full windshield ever. We got the Lambo doors on this, don't forget. Do not play with us on the Lambo doors. What? You already know. Oh, this is so easy. I'm moving this so easy right now. Perfect, that's perfect. I'm sure it's totally safe. Yeah, it's good. It's totally good. And we got a trailer we're wrapping, no big deal. Uh, we got it all stripped down to white. Boom! It didn't look like that before. It looked all like a burger shack. So I got them all lined out. We're gonna put the title across the top, boom. We're gonna throw a menu board here. Imagine a menu board, boom. And then to appease them, we're going some tacos, some empanadas, some burritos. It's gonna be sick. You're gonna know where to get the Mexican food is hidden. Patty's Mexican food truck. Real authentic Mexican food, in small print. And then, or not, tune in next week and you'll see it. So no big deal. Mina, how you liking it here in Springfield? She loves it. Yeah, it's perfect. You know, Randy is really nice and I really thank him for giving me this opportunity oh. to share with all the guys and learn so much more. You guys need to learn how she talks. Look at her. She, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> see, that's what we need in our life right there. I did not pay her for that endorsement. Oh, do you guys not see the shop band yet? You want to put it on there? Let's do it. Let me just slide by Andre real quick. Sorry. Oh. I'm just sliding by. Quit breathing in. You don't want you. Don't be ashamed of me, Andre. Show me off. Before you guys take off, I wanted to show you something real quick. The shop band was in need of some help. It was like snap on. They took the S's off. It said nap on. Everybody actually liked the nap on van, but it did not look professional. So I'm like, all right, guys, let's wrap this thing up. We had some red chrome laying around and we threw our logos on it. Pretty popping. I think it's jazzy fresh. I don't know. Something we threw together. We just had a little fun with it. Here's what it looked like before. Is it over here? Is this going to be anywhere? Is it just going to pop up? Okay. It's going to pop up. That's what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. Sexy. This is your 2018 transit van. Maybe it's a 17, we don't know. It does a lot of work stuff. It goes with my guys to jobs. It's got both cargo doors on her. Oh, look, hang on, one, hang on. And two, there it is, look at that. It's got a little extra vinyl here in case you need it, no big deal. Yeah, it actually works really good. Everybody that drives this van, I was like, I'll take one. Should we pull it up in the sun, let them see the chrome in the sun? I think it looks popping. Let's pull it up a little bit. Boom, baby. What? Reminds me of a Coke can. I don't know. It's a little dirty because it got rained on, but it's fun. It's tit. Do we say tit? Show me tit. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should have done show me tits instead. I probably got a lot more action. I did change the logo up on the other side. Did you guys notice that? I struggled with this so hard. You have no idea. I really struggled with changing my logo up, but the sun would have been down there or up here. I didn't like it up here, so I put it in the middle. And then we've talked about making it like gold chrome or red chrome. We don't know what we're doing. We just do a little together. We needed something to do that week. But yeah, you see this in your driveway, you know it's popping. And we can do it for your car too, so hit me up. You can be standing out in the crowd or your business. Hit us up, showme10.com. Badman Pajamas, peace out.